Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and the crochet hook that I'll be using is in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 60. We have chain 60. We'll make sure that our chain is not twisted. Then on the last chain from the hook, we'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, and through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout this row. Now to finish off row one, right here through this first single crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. So now for row two, I'll chain one, then right there through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout row two. To finish off row two, right here through this next single crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. So we repeat row two until we have six rows of single crochets in total. So now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. And now I'll use yarn in different color. I'll chain one, then through that same chain I'll make one single crochet. Now through the next single crochet, five rows below, I'll make one extended single crochet. So right there through that single crochet from the first row, I insert my hook, wrap the yarn on the hook, and pull like this. And now insert my hook through this next chain right here, wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Through a next single crochet from the second row, I insert my hook right there, wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through, I insert my hook through this next chain, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two, and now I'll make another extended single crochet through that single crochet from the third row. So 
I insert my hook right here through the next chain, wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Now I'll make one external single crochet through that next single crochet from the fourth row. I insert my hook through the next chain, wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Now I'll make one external single crochet through the next chain from the fifth row. Now I insert my hook through the next chain, wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. And now through the next five chains, I'll make one single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'll make one extended single crochet through that single crochet from the first row. Then I'll insert my hook right here through this next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. So now I'll make one extended single crochet through that single crochet from the second row. Then I'll insert my hook right here through this next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Now again I'll insert my hook through the next single crochet from the third row. Then I insert my hook through this next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Now I'll make one extended single crochet through the next single crochet from the fourth row. Then I insert my hook through this next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Now I'll make one extended single crochet through the next single crochet from the fifth row. Then I insert my hook through this next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Now in the next five chains I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off row 7, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 7. Now for row 8, we repeat row 1. So I'll chain 1, then right there through that same chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. So we'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout this row. Row 8, we repeat row 1. For row 9, we repeat row 2. For row 10, we repeat row 3. For row 11, we repeat row 4. For row 12, we repeat row 5. For row 13, we repeat row 6. So in next 6 rows, we'll make one single crochet in each chain. Now to finish off, I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. So now again, we'll use yarn in color A. Then we we'll insert our hook right there to that same chain. chain one, then through the same chain we'll make one single crochet. So now through the next five chains I'll make one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now we repeat row seven. 
So now through the next single crochet from the first row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Now through the next single crochet from the second row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Now through the next single crochet from the third row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the fourth row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the fifth row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Now through the next five chains, I'll make one single crochet in each chain. Now again, through this next single crochet from the first row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the second row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the third row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the fourth row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Through the next single crochet from the fifth row, I'll make one extended single crochet. Now through the next five chains, I'll make one single crochet in each chain. So we repeat this throughout row 14. So now to finish off row 14, right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 14. So for row 15 through 20, we repeat rows 1 through 6. So in the next 6 rows, we make one single crochet in each chain. Repeat row seven.
So now for row 22, I'll chain one, then right here through the same chain, I'll make one single crochet. For the next seven chains, I'll make uh, one single crochet. This one already counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now through chains 9 and 10, I will decrease. In the next 8 chains, I'll make one single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And through chains 9 and 10, I will decrease. So through the next 8 chains, I will make one single crochet in each chain. Then I will decrease in chains 9 and 10. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row, right here through this first single crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now for the next row I'll chain one and through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. So now I'll make seven single crochets. This one already counts as one. So two three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'll decrease in chains eight and nine. In the next seven chains, I'll make one single crochet in each chain. And then I'll decrease in chains 8 and 9. So we'll repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row through this first single crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain 1, then through the same chain I'll make 1 single crochet. So now in the next 6 chains I'll make 1 single crochet. This one already counts as 1. So 1, 2, three, four, five, and six. And through chains seven and eight, I will decrease. In the next six chains, I'll make one single crochet in each chain. I'll decrease through chains 7 and 8. So we'll repeat this throughout this row. So to finish off every row you have to join with a slip stitch. So for this row again in the next 5 chains I'll make one single crochet in each chain Decrease in chains 6 and 7. In the next 5 chains I'll make one single crochet in each chain. And then I'll decrease in chains 6 and 7. So for our next row, in the next 4 chains I'll make one single crochet in each chain. And then I'll decrease in chains 5 and 6. In the next 4 chains, I'll make 1 single crochet in each chain. So 1, 2, 
three, four. And I'll decrease in chains five and six. Again, in the next four chains, I'll make one solo crochet in each chain. And then I'll decrease in chains five and six. So we repeat this throughout this row. So for the next row, in the next three chains, I'll make one single crochet. So one, two, and three. And I'll decrease in stitches four and five. In the next three chains, I'll make one single crochet in each chain. And then I'll decrease in stitches four and five. So we repeat this throughout this row. Next row I'm using yarn in a different color. I need to make two single crochets. This one already counts as one. So one, two, and then I'll decrease in stitches three and four. In the next two chains I'll make one single crochet. And then I'll decrease in chains three and four. So I'll repeat this throughout this row. So for the next row, I'll make one single crochet in the next chain and then I'll decrease in stitches two and three. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet and I'll decrease in stitches two and three. I'll make one single crochet in the next chain and I'll decrease in stitches two and three. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now for the next row, I will decrease it in every chain. Next chain I'll make one slip stitch, I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So now with a yarn needle I'm going to close this loop. that we have weaved the ends in, we will turn this hat inside out, well, outside in, or oh, whatever. The outside is out. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is amazing guys see I actually saw the stitch just this morning on somebody's sweater and then I just came up with the idea for a hat and it's so cool and it's the first time I made this hat on and I'm just so amazing I'm so proud of my wife <laughs> You have to concentrate, especially on every seventh row. Because, you know, for single crochet rows, it's okay. But for every seventh row, that's when you have to think. And, you know, concentrate and count your chains and all that. So that is all for today, guys. And thank you so much for watching.